welcome back to another episode of tell me why today we're gonna go to the graveyard and talk to tessa so let's go here we are Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave. Not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. Yes. Of I'm going to go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. Yeah. For real. Not the fake one. Mm. The real one. Should we visit our mother's grave? You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after. You know. I promise after this we can chill at the house. Cool? What is she doing? What is her problem, man? <laughs> Where is the crooked tree? Should we take the shortcut? Nah. How do you know it's a so, shortcut? Did you ever come back? Keep it down. I have taken many shortcuts. I know shortcut Why when I see people one. People always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries. I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Look for the crooked memory, tree. memory, memory. Our mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. That could be it. Maybe she was going to kill Tessa because she reported her. Yes. You know? Yes, yes, mm. yes. That might be. I mean, every, every time you see her in the memories, she's always, you know? So loving and caring. Mm. I don't know. Where did Alison go? I don't care. Let's go. Yes, Let's no. go to she not Oh man. How she come? <laughs> See, <laughs> I knew she'd come no in a way. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. They can this read each other's mind, but uh, they cannot no, see where it, they are going. Before, so, yes. This is a crooked is tree? Called the big crooked? The exact yes. One. It's not that crooked. Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I've seen more crooked trees than this. The Everything does when you're four feet tall. Not uh, this one. <laughs> Ronin? <laughs> Becker. We are Ronin. Oh, this one, uh, huh? This one. <laughs> 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 I thought he said, oh, this one. <laughs> oh, man. Do we want to check out every gear? <laughs> no, man. Let's just... Let's just go. Find her. It's boring. Alison, come back. Yeah, Anything? she's thinking. Look at her, she's look at her. Oh. She's not thinking anymore. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. She's confused. 
It was really hard on him. Hey, is there somebody sitting there? Still feeling it. No, where? In front of you. Long time no see. There is someone here. Do you want some company? Come on what? over. Oh, oh man, it's company. Michael. Why is he always everywhere? What is the problem with him? What was Michael doing here? So. That's his uncle. How are you, um? Suksarnik. Holding up. What does that mean? Everything's Su such a mess. Sukarnik. We'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. Suksarnik. Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just <laughs> thought I'd surprise you. Can it be more subtle? <laughs> is this Always a bad time? Talking about me? With you? Never. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Speak hey, loudly. I can see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> deeply, so, yes. You, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you wound me deeply. Uh... You must study the wound deeply. Uh, so we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave? You serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. Says the guy wearing glasses. Yeah, but these are magnifying glasses. And they do infrared, so I see everything. Yeah, talk to you later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk to you later. You bet. I don't bet. What did you say? Go straight to the tree and then... Right. She's jealous I got the looks. She's always been jealous because I got the looks. Yeah, but I got the brains. So... Oh man, you two are such a pair. Straight Why don't you marry yeah, right? both of them? Anyway, yeah. girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Juna's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so History? good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Straight and to the right. I think it's the blue one. You got yourself a deal. Yes, let's do something. Yes. No, her gray won't have much because. That's the one. What? Don't tell me, See? Mister. What? Yes, sir. Okay, I thought we were searching for our mothers. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. What happened? It's time. A memory? What? Memory time! What was that look? He remembered something. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Let's do it then. Where is it? Oh, no. Tell me where it is. How would we find it, man? Don't make us do this again. Oh! No, it's him. It's something else. That's a good name, man. Here's a Salazar. <laughs> There's also snake drawing. <laughs> sounds like a snake. Salazar uh, sounds so cool. You remember Captain Salazar? Nope. What is that? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. I don't remember much of that movie. <laughs> Man. If we had an audience right now, they would hate you so much for not remembering Pirates of the Caribbean. It's not that good of a series, I'm sorry. What? I hate to tell you. I what? don't like it. I only like the first movie, not after that. Why are you checking the same things? We did, did we check this? Yes, Bob Marley, let's go. I have short term memory, bro. 
What does it say? Teller mm. Phillips. Yes. Looking for the Mary Ann. Why would that just tell me where it is? Look at the tree if you can. What is this? Uh, corona. Let's go. <laughs> Stay away. At least six feet. No, no, it's not the one, man. You can just read the name. I. Yes. Is it through here? Yes. You have to be two, two step back, man. How many times do I tell you? <laughs> the rules of this world. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the it's water. It's a little bit further, yes. Well, only a few steps in, and I'm already starting to regret this. What are you doing? She was Allison, speaking something. Please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. Yes. Yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment Man, over there. That's by the a totem. cool looking grave. I wonder if it is a grave. See that. Doesn't hurt to check. No, it's just a totem. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. Oh, come on, man. Tyler promised to return. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every what, day. What does the other one say? I promise. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. The same I'll thing. I'll be back soon, alright? Yeah, promise. I think this one. Tyler says I'll be back soon. But I'm soon. gonna come see you every week. And no, we'll it's talk with our Allison. Voice every day. And this one but says Allison. I'm gonna come see you every week. This one, the Tyler says I said it. Allison says I said it. We need to choose Allison because the stars will go further apart. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk because with our we voice know. every day. Yeah, it but doesn't I'm matter. Do it every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. We'll see each other soon then. Stop crying, silly. We have to go, kid. God, I could have sworn it went the other way. I'm so sorry. I I should have staged a hunger strike until Eddie agreed to drive me. Water under the bridge. Oh, what so it didn't that? matter? Nope. Fucking bitches. What's grave is this? No, no, no. No. <laughs> it says car of brown. Years later. 
Look at that was Mary and crying. Fuck. Where do Just we go, go now? forward, man. Don't look at everything. Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace. Snow it's at the at the end. I I'm sure of it. Finn go to Anderson. the end. Go to the end, and then start what? looking. Whatever. She always blocks the way. No, no, not even there. Not there. Not there. Go up. Yes. And then I took Jaina ice skating on Wednesday. I wish you could have seen her. She took off across that ice. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Becky store. Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Um, What's a, uh, what accent is this? It starts with a K, right? Kendra, don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. No, no. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. It's like Western. Yeah, type. see? That's a question. Type. Where is your accent from? Uh, I hope this isn't rude, but... Where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then... Well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. Mm. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do we no. keep talking? We have to get going. What Sorry. do they mean by fishing accident? Going. Don't apologize. It was nice talking to you. What do you See you around, you Kendra. Might have drowned you might have or something. Day. The fish might have attacked back, you know? <laughs> like, we won't take it! <laughs> yeah. She got kind of stranded out here. I know. And her daughter's barely two it's years It's moving old. down there. God, those kind of accidents happen all the time. The penalties cost less than safety upgrades. Man, he doesn't run, are you sure? They do jack shit. Yeah, he yeah, pressed Life's everything. Kind of price. What? <laughs> what is... What? What is it? Yeah. Go closer, man. God, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. No, yeah. that's not it. Let's it? go. No, no. What about this? No, no man. Why can't I remember? Oh, Mary. Oh, there she is. Mary and Rome. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Where did she come from? Uh, She's an assassin. I, I wasn't expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? Why are they making it a creepy scene? <laughs> Oh, 
When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on her mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. Oh. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Sam got divorced for Mary. Mm. What do we do? You could have done better. Yes. You did what you had to do. And you destroyed our why, family. Why, why, why? You could have done better. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Okay, I can talk to... Are you really ready to forgive her? I think she regrets what she did. But I, I totally understand if you don't want to see her anymore. That's your call. Nah, forgive her. I'm done losing people. Mm. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story. But it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. There gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. Hmm. 
That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tessa's thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. You wanna sit down for a bit? No. Sure. No. no I should talk to you. Mate, now the stars will come together. <laughs> Not a bad view, right? Yeah. Thumbnail. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. How was your union? Handsome going to spend. Thanks for coming with me. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it. Fireweed was great. But there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Hey. Brothers and sisters. Right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You need a time to help. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, alright? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? still feels like there's something missing, right? She wasn't trying to kill you. She was just running after you. With a gun. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. Oh, I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. What? Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Oh. Holy. Is that... Are you alright? Get the fire first. Allison, barn. Stay there. 
I got it. Maybe she's alive. What was it like? Marion. They say she just ran. He didn't kill her. No, it can be. What? Just like that? It seemed bigger than this. Everything's on the floor. Okay. Everything is on the floor. But she extinguished the fire very quickly. Yes, I don't under mind. The rug? That's a good thing. He went looking under the rug? Yes. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Now we need to go. Huh. These plants. Hey, come check this out. Is that a no? <laughs> oh man. A chicken coop? Go to the tools. Tool shed. This gas can was already here this morning. God. He didn't bring it with him. He really turned this place upside down. Let's go inside. The game is lagging a bit. But it's fine. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Oh, collective. Oh, At least you were spared. I thought, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> there it oh, is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pick that valuable up. Valuable stuff's missing. You have to be two steps away from I guess we things know how he to made the hole. me. That is the rules of this game. Yeah, yeah. How many times? Oh, yeah. Get, get it. Step back. I'll be fine. Hmm. What? That's it. He said a few more planks. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Should we open it? Yes, why not? What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. What does it do I have to? Three digits. Any ideas? Oh, man. Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Alexa, what are the three digits required to open Marianne's chest in Tell Me Why? Alex also doesn't. <laughs> oh, we need to Google it. <laughs> uh, do you want to read it? <laughs> if Alexa doesn't know, then nobody knows. What the heck is this? Okay, so we tried to unlock it, but we didn't figure it out. So we, I Googled it, and it's one thirty. That did it. I think she didn't know how much of an ass he turned out to be. I need to see you again. I know how that sounds and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in the Dallas Crossing. Who is saying this? Mm, mm. Well, nobody knows. It must be Sam, right? No. No, no. Dear Mary, Mary Ann. I know that sounds and I don't want to think I chase after a new girls in Jerusalem crossing. I always take on my vow seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right and we both have a lot of lot to lose, but I need to be with you what again. A mess. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. It it is sad because uh, the what what is her name Tessa. Tessa said uh, 
same broke our marriage because of Mary. Mm-hmm. Let's see oh, what I this can... one is. That's rough. Marianne. This, this guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. What? Even though she wanted to keep us. Who is this guy? Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation and I feel you'd make a great mother. And I don't doubt you will someday, but right now we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you. People have here talk and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but it, it, I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. Who is this? The father, of course. Mm -hmm. Their father. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. Box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. And a decade later, some guy comes along, trashes the barn, and tries to destroy the box. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. What do you mean seeing him here? Memory? forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> what happens down All right. there? Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I trip. Oh, it's the night of the murder. Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? No, it was just... I, I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Hmm... was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Yes, what is that? Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hmm, where is the memory? That way, yes. To the left, to the right, sorry. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. 
But do we really? Alone. I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time. Yes. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. What just happened? His previous thought. He just, I don't know. Oh, it's lagging. Good. Perfect, perfect. that would happen we almost had it though that was us watching Marianne fight with that guy try to focus on him all right don't think about anything else focus I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Is that it? Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, 
You really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? Hmm, so see, she had the gun for him. Yeah, maybe. Hmm, so that night he was there as well. So that's why she was pulling out her gun. Hmm. And she ran to the dock to save Tyler from him. Tyler thought she was going to kill him instead. Maybe. Uh, Let's see the choices. Tyler felt Allison discarded his feelings when choosing her memory at the house. Eh. Yeah, don't care. We don't care. That Tyler didn't feel hard about needing time with Allison, except accepted the appointment. Oh, only thirty-two percent accepted the appointment for the house sale. Oh. 82% forgive Eddie. That's fine. That is not a big deal. Eddie was touched by the forgiveness. Really? Michael was heartened by the compliment. <laughs> okay. You, Michael? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we resolved our tissues with Tessa. She is in the mask. <sighs> That's it. That's it? Yeah, maybe they'll show us uh, to be next time, I think. There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. Hmm. So this was it for the chapter two. We'll see you next time for the chapter three.